hope everyone is okay. And today's video, I decided to make a lipstick bag. Here are the bags that I made. And it fits any sizes of lipstick. So don't worry about it. And if you want, you can use your lipstick to measure the height if how tall your lipstick is and it is easy to make and quick to finish um if you want to make the decoration it's up to you if you want to leave it plain like this it's up to you also and for the decoration you will need the hot glue gun and mini ribbon or whatever you want to decorate after you finish making the bag and I connected the lobster clasp into the tip of the raffle of the bag. This is how it looks like. You can just hang it like that. Connect it into your kitchen later or you can just hang it on the side of your bag strap. So, okay. Like I said, this is easy to make. So, if you are ready for your material the material that i use is key ring lobster clasp to connect into the ring and if you want to to connect into your kitchen it's up to you if you want to just leave it with this and hang it into your bag or wherever you want to hang it you can do it too and I will be using size F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and scissor and marker and for the yarn I am using the number three number three yarn acrylic or you can use a number three cotton if you wish and yeah okay if you are ready let's begin okay to begin make a magic ring wrap around yarn twice on your finger and then remove the ring and insert hook into the ring pull up yarn chain one and then make six single crochet into the ring so one two three four five six okay to close the ring find the inside part of yarn this is the upper part and then the one in the bottom is the inside part we are going to pull we are going to pull the inside yarn halfway pull it halfway and then take the tail this is the tail take it and then pull it all the way tight okay now the ring is secured and close and one two three four five six we have six single crochet so for the next round make two single crochet and it stitches around with a total of 12 so make single two single crochet into the first the tail of the the tail i am going to work along with the tail so one and then put the marker and then make one more single into the same stitch and then two single into the next and two single into the next two single make two single in each stitches around with a total of 12 okay now i have 12 single crochet remove the marker and then for the next round make single crochet into the first single so 
so this is the first single make single crochet there and then put the marker again and make two single crochet into the next single as you see I always crochet along with the tail to hide it two single and then single into the next two single into the next go ahead and continue your round with single two single in each stitches around single two single single two single single two single okay now we can remove the marker and then we are going to join it with slip stitch into the back loop of the first single join it with slip stitch okay and then chain one and single into the same stitch now using the back loop of each stitches around we are going to make one single in each okay so just for the just at the back loop only make single with a total of 18 okay now join it with slip stitch into the first single so this this is the first single join it with slip stitch and then chain one and single into the same stitch now using both loops around we are going to single crochet in each stitches around okay now join it with slip stitch into the beginning single now for the next round chain three and then skip two skip two single one two and then single into the next stitch chain three again skip two single chain three skip two single chain three skip two single into the next stitch chain three skip two single into the next and then to form the last chain three space we are going to make one bubble into the same stitch in the beginning of the round so one double
okay now for the next round we are going to make um single into the same stitch okay and then chain three and then single into the next space chain three single into the next space chain three single into the next chain three single chain three single and to to form the last chain three space make one double into the same single in the beginning of the round so this is the beginning of the round we're going to make one double there okay for the next round make single into the same space and then chain three and repeat this repeat this last round that we just did um 10 more times so we have two rounds already so make repeat it 10 more times with the uh, always end your work always join your work with one double into the beginning single okay so repeat this previous round 10 more times and i will meet you for the next round okay i finished my 10 repeats and i ended my round with chain three and i want to measure it the measurement is perfect for my lipstick so if you think that the the bag is is too short for your lipstick size it, it um, maybe you can add some more round or if you think that it is too long you can reduce the round and but the counting that i made is fit for any size of lipstick because the um the stitches can be stretchable like that it can be stretchable so the counting should be perfect for any size of lipstick okay now to join we are going to join it with slip stitch into the first single join it with slip stitch okay now chain one and then make three single in each spaces around one two three 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 okay join it with slip stitch into the beginning single okay and then chain three skip one single and then single into the next yeah skip one single into the next chain three skip one single into the next chain three skip one single into the next repeat it all the way with chain three skip one and single into the next stitch okay to complete the to complete the last chain three we do the same like before 
we double into the first into the same stitch where the first chain three is okay and then single into the same space then chain three single into the same space again chain three single into the next space chain three single into the same space chain three single into the next space chain three single into the same space chain three single into the next chain three single into the same space chain three single into the next repeat this all the way repeat this around with chain three single into the next chain three single into the same space go ahead and finish your round okay to the to the last chain three space to the last chain three space we are going to insert the lobster clasp okay insert the lobster clasps clasp ngingi <laughs> okay and now we are going to join it with slip stitch into the beginning single if you want it's more easy if you cut your yarn okay and then insert your clasp there and insert with slip stitch into the beginning single to close your work okay now the lobster clasp is there and we're going back into the bottom in the in the free loop of the bottom area with the bag facing you you're going to insert hook into the first free loop remember the the part where we do the back loop only the free loop we are going to use that now insert hook into the first free loop of the work or any of the any of the free loop insert it there and then chain one single into the same and then single in each free loop around with a total of eight, uh, 18 okay use all the free loop to make single crochet in each stitch with a total of 18 okay now join it with slip stitch into the beginning single to 
Then it will slip stitch and then close your work. Then we are going to hide the tail. Okay, we are going to hide the tail. <laughs> I will be using the bigger needle. It's difficult to insert the yarn into the smaller needle. Okay. Now we are going to Trim it. Make sure that you wave your you wave the tail of your work properly so it won't come out later when you when you use the bag okay it's now secured now if you want you can you can connect the ring into the the lobster clasp and then you can use it as a keychain you can add your key here or any any additional bling that you want to put okay now we are going to make the ribbon tie make a chain of 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19, Now close it and then cut the yarn. okay and then insert the ribbon into the bag for the tie closure so what you need to do is fold it this is this should be in the center okay so fold it half like that and then insert the ribbon into the bottom of the single crochet that we made this is the single crochet around now into the bottom of it insert the needle into the hole and then wave it hmm. 
sorry i insert into the wrong one <laughs> okay this will be the back because the chain the it depends on which side would you want the ribbon to tie but i want the ribbon in front instead of at the side or at the back okay and then to double secure the end of the tie make a knot at the end of it and then cut the yarn okay and and then tie it into the bow into a bow this is perfect as a gift for a young lady okay now we're done guys yeah we're done you can add your key here or anything like tassel or or any any charms that you want to add in okay this is how our work look like this is the bottom of the work look like okay now we're done and thank you for joining me again and i hope you like it and i hope you enjoy making it and thank you for joining me and see you again for the next video bye bye